Hello, my name is Marie Namey. I'm an advanced practice nurse at the Mellon Center for Multiple Sclerosis Treatment and Research at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation. I've been part of the Mellon Center team for the past 30 years and have developed an interest in managing symptoms, particularly bladder symptoms, that people with MS may experience during the time of their multiple sclerosis. And so I'm here today to talk with you and one of our patients about bladder symptoms. So bladder symptoms are very common and they can affect both men and women who have MS. Depending on the literature that you read, bladder symptoms affect up to 80% of people who have multiple sclerosis. Often, unfortunately, these symptoms aren't talked about in a visit because sometimes it might be embarrassing for people to talk about or sometimes they might feel that nothing can be done. So why bring up the symptom? But actually, with appropriate assessment and intervention and treatment, bladder symptoms can be effectively managed. So bladder symptoms can be one of three types. People can have trouble emptying their bladder, they can have trouble holding urine in their bladder, or they can have a combination of both of those types of symptoms. And so people have urgency, meaning when they got to go, they got to go. They might have frequency, meaning they go often, every half hour, every hour. Maybe they lose a little bit of control of their bladder. Sometimes people get bladder infections. Sometimes people wake up at night often to go to the bathroom because they're not emptying their bladder completely. And so we have to talk with patients about what symptoms they're having and then do an evaluation so that we really understand what's working and what's not working in the bladder. So if we look at this picture of the bladder here, we see that the bladder has muscles this muscle here called the detrusor muscle works to push urine out from the bladder. And this is the muscle that says gotta go, gotta go. This muscle has to work in coordination with the sphincter muscle, which is kind of the gate. And this muscle, the sphincter, can relax and then let the urine empty when the detrusor pushes. Sometimes because of the nerve malfunction in MS, this muscle doesn't work, the detrusor doesn't push enough, or it may be irritable and push too much, or maybe the sphincter closes up too soon and doesn't allow the urine to come out as it should, and sometimes these muscles don't work in coordination. So lots of different symptoms can occur, and they can be very embarrassing and annoying, and sometimes people stay at home because they're afraid of having maybe a bladder accident. And so in order to decide which muscle is not working well, we need to talk to you about the symptoms you're having. We need to talk to you about your daily activities. What beverages do you drink? How much do you drink at a time? When do you go to the bathroom? And find out all that detail to help us understand what's going on with your bladder. And then what we'd like to do is have you try to empty your bladder on your own measure the amount of urine that comes out, and then test you to see if you have any urine left in your bladder with an easy test called a bladder ultrasound, which will monitor the amount of, bladder, of urine you have left over in your bladder. And based on that, we can make a decision on how to help you best. Does that make sense? It does. This appointment will take about 45 minutes or an hour to really get the detail that we need. And then we can offer some helpful suggestions. So I have here a list of suggestions that might help, in general, people how to manage their bladder. First of all, you need to drink enough fluid during the day. Our bodies require about one and a half to two quarts of fluid a day. And the best, the best thing to drink is really water. Mm -hmm. Things like coffee or Cokes or Pepsis that have caffeine in them cause that one muscle to be a little bit more irritable and cause us to feel that we have to go more urgently and frequently. Fruit juices can work, but I know a lot of women don't like to drink fruit juice because it has calories, but nonetheless, fruit juices don't disturb the bladder as much. Alcohol also is a bladder irritant, so a glass of wine or a beer cause that bladder muscle to work a little harder. 
Also, smoking, believe it or not, another reason not to smoke. Smoking is a bladder irritant. So if you think about it, you need to drink one and a half to two quarts of fluid a day. Water is best, but you can drink a few of the other things that you like, knowing that if you drink a caffeinated beverage, it's going to cause you to go more urgently and more frequently. It's not really normal to leak urine or wake up more than once at night to go to the bathroom. And so if a person's concerned about this, they really should talk to their health care provider about how their bladder's working. So some of the suggestions I often tell people, some behavior modification you could try for yourself, are when you're going to drink your fluids, drink your fluids within a five or ten minute period of time. Drink eight ounces, drink ten ounces within five or ten minutes. It takes about an hour and a half transit time for fluids to go from your mouth, through your stomach, into your kidneys, and then in your bladder. So about an hour and a half after you drink your beverages, time yourself and go to the bathroom. Schedule your time for drinking and schedule your time for going to the bathroom. And that may help avoid some of the concerns that people are experiencing. Do you have any questions about that? Um, how would I know the difference between um, a normal MS symptom and a, a more medical symptom? So if you have a bladder infection, what might happen is your MS symptoms might temporarily get worse. People have described getting more fatigue or having more stiffness or even sometimes more weakness if they have a bladder infection. Bladder infections in people who have MS may not be as described as a general bladder infection where people have a dark urine or smelly urine. Urine infections bladder infections and people have MS may cause a change in MS symptoms. So typically then we would ask for a sample of your urine so we can test to see if it's a bladder infection that's causing more symptoms for you. So the whole idea of managing bladder symptoms for people with MS is really a quality of life issue so people can get out and do what they want to do. People won't have to worry about where the next bathroom is, or about leaking a bit of urine. We also want to maintain the integrity of your kidneys. We want to make sure that your organs are staying healthy. And so we want to take care of your bladder as best we can. So as I said, bladder symptoms can be very distressing to people who have multiple sclerosis. And they are experienced by a majority of people who have MS. But this is a topic that really needs to be discussed in detail with your health care provider if this is a symptom that bothers you. If you'd like more information about how to manage bladder symptoms, please contact our website as you can see below. Thank you.